internets. <laughs> I'm recording this for a second time because I told my GoPro to start recording and uh, it didn't. I was telling you before my GoPro rudely didn't record what I was saying that we are going to a natural bridge in a place called Springbrook National Park. Uh, there is a natural bridge there. Funny that. Uh, it's a waterfall um, and I'm guessing part of it forms a bridge going by the name. Um, so that could be kind of cool. My older one has been there and said it's pretty cool. My older child that is. Um, so Alexis and I are going tonight to do that and also there are some caves that have glowworms in them. I don't think they're actual worms and I don't think the actual worms glow from what I've read. I think it's something that they secrete that glows. We're going around sunset or before sunset happens because um, the information that I read said that the best time to see the glowworms is um, from sunset onwards, which makes sense. <coughs> And so we're going to do the natural bridge walk first and have a look at the waterfall. Hopefully there should still be enough light so that um, I can get some video while we're there. Because that could be cool and interesting. There's a learner driver in front of me and their limit is 10 below or maybe 20 below the speed limit. So I'm going to go around. It's not their fault. It's a stupid rule because they become kind of a hazard on the road. It's really annoying. Um, what was I saying? Natural bridge and glowworms. They reckon it's an hour return the walk. So we are going to bring a little bit of food with us so maybe we can go up to the waterfall, have a look at that, take some videos, see how awesome it is, have a bite to eat and then on the way back we can stop at the glowworm caves to have a look. Um, yeah, that could be pretty cool. The dog has not come with us because animals are not allowed in the national parks. And Ollie is an animal as much as she thinks she isn't. She is actually a dog. So she stayed home with the older one and they'll keep each other company. It's a Christmas miracle! Okay, it's not Christmas, but that's okay. Uh, I, I dropped the little gate of the GoPro when I was uh, plugging it in before and it fell just down beside my seat here. As I stuck my head down really low so that I could find where that went under my seat, I found my wrist guard! This is, uh, I, I lost this like six weeks ago or something maybe. Um, it's, I, I, it's actually a skateboarding wrist guard. But I've been using it as a wrist support at night because um, I have a dodgy wrist, I don't know. It could be carpal tunnel related. And uh, when I was sleeping, I'd end up sleeping like this or too far bent back or something. And so I've been wearing this wrist guard to keep my wrist straight. And uh, I took it on our last camping, sorry, on a camping trip quite a number of weeks ago. And uh, somehow couldn't find it. And um, it... Turns out it dropped down under the front of my seat here. <clears throat> so I found it. Yay! <laughs> Finally. It was coping without it, but uh, I've been feeling twinges. So I was um, I, I was going to have to organise something else. And now I don't. Woohoo! This is fun. We're sitting in traffic. <laughs> Well, fortunately we have aircon that works well and I mean we're not in a tearing hurry. So, you know, there's that. I just don't particularly like sitting in traffic. There's a whole section of roadworks along here that's been going on for like forever and a day. And, uh, well, firstly, the limit is reduced to 80 k's an hour for the road work area as you can see on that sign but also uh, the number of lanes goes down from I can't remember three or four down to two lanes so that equals traffic 
my previous car was a heap of crap. I hated it for quite a number of reasons. Uh, the biggest reason wasn't because it was a heap of crap. The other reasons are irrelevant right at the moment. But anyway, so uh, if I am to be stuck in traffic, at least I'm in a car that has decent aircon. And that is nice and easy to drive, so that's a relief. Windy, windy. This is the road out to Springbrook. And it is somewhat windy. We've arrived, and um, there's this cute little alcove area that you just drive into. And um, there's the entrance to our little alcove. Excuse me while I eat. And you can see over here behind me, and just back around to where the car is. Hope you didn't get dizzy then. It's a great little spot. There's some people. Oh, she's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it facing me so they can't see you. The sun is going down fast, so uh, we're probably going to head off really shortly. But what a beautiful spot. Check it out. How nice is that? Do you want to actually say hello instead of running away? Hmm? Yes, no, maybe? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> She's being very funny. This is the entrance. Ooh, I feel drops of rain. Um, it's only a little bit of cloud cover. Hopefully it won't rain fully. Uh, I didn't plan well. Well, I sort of did and I forgot. Um, Natural Bridge is half an hour drive from here. So if we were going to do it, we should have sort of gone that direction and then headed to the um, camping area after we saw Natural Bridge. Um, and it's already after five. So by the time we got there, it would be well and truly dark. You can see the little information place just behind me there that we looked at. And that was what reminded me that Natural Bridge is half an hour away. So instead of doing it tonight, we're going to do it in the morning because um, it's kind of on the way out from here anyway. Um, so it'll save us sort of an extra hour of driving, half an hour there and half an hour back. And tonight we can just relax, which is sort of nice anyway not have to rush off anywhere in my mind natural bridge walk was like just 
you head it off from the camping area or the day use area but no <laughs> it's not it's half an hour away and I did know that but I completely forgot so uh, but I'm cool with that Alexis is all right with that I just get to relax tonight so yeah I'm happy enough with that and tomorrow we'll see natural bridge it means that we may or may not be able to see the glow worms um, I suppose you can see them during the day um, but maybe they don't start producing their little glow-in-the-dark goop stuff yeah until um close towards the end of the day but we can still go in the cave and have a look so yeah it's night now we're just gonna relax instead and I am perfectly okay with that it's a tiny little kangaroo thing I think that could be a powder melon we don't want to go too close oh there it goes <laughs> That's so cute. There you go, little cute creature. Into the bush. There it is. Look how cute it is. Oh, there he goes. And here's our friend, the bush turkey. Oops, let's zoom out again. There you go, bush turkey. That one's not afraid of us at all. Not remotely. When we first started camping in our car, we had the normal camping chairs that are more usual chair size. But um, they were just too large. So we ended up getting these things, as you can see. They're not very big. Alexis is eight years old, so that gives you an idea of how big it is compared to a child. And um, they pack down to, I would say, about a quarter to a third of the size of the normal camping chair. But they're kind of like a rip-off of, um, do you remember what the brand is called? Helinox. The Helinox ones, which are quite expensive. Um, and they seem to do the job for now. I'm guessing they're not going to be as long-lasting. But I really like the style, so once these start to die, I think I'm going to save up for the Helinox ones. In the meantime, we're going to sit here with our little mozzy coil thing. <laughs> and look at this pretty view. And just relax. Nice, huh? Look at that. It was getting a bit cold outside, so we um, hopped in the car. Um, very nice out there. Very brisk. And uh, the sun was starting to go down, so that's why it was starting to get cold. Um, being in um, inland a bit, it's likely to get cold at night anyway. It's a nice little private camping spot too. Um, each um, spot has their own sort of little driveway and then a small spot for either a camper trailer or just you know parking your van in whichever direction you choose yeah it's a really beautiful spot you can see out the mesh there that's where that little powder melon was before just out there that was really cool uh, and Alexis, do you mind being on? We're going to show out your window. There's, there's Alexis just there, but there's out the window on her side. I'm not sure how much you can see. You can probably see out the mesh. It's a bit of cloud cover. Yeah, nice night to be tucked inside the car, I think. The next morning we headed off to Natural Bridge. That will be in the next video or the one after. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Um, well, you'll be notified if you hit the notifications button and sign up for those notifications because that's the way YouTube works at the moment. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. I really appreciate it so much. I'm pretty stoked with how my channel is going. Um, and that's due to everyone who's subscribed and who leaves comments and who likes my videos. Um, I'm really enjoying making the videos. So uh, I hope you're also enjoying the content. And I'll see you in the next video.